Well, hello, my soccer universe. For the last time, we'll talk about the German speaking countries, although there's a teeny bit in Austria left, but I'm not sure if I will cover that in all that much detail. I might tag it on to some Italy video, whatever. Let's finish out the season in Germany um, and then we'll go to Austria where I am wearing my black Lusk jersey. I'm proud of my team, but the black also kind of points at a rather disappointing end to probably the best season I've seen, uh, personally seen Lusk play out. So just saying that. But we'll start with the German Cup final, which I I don't want to say I was excited for it because I knew how it will go, but I was hoping for it to be more of a game than it actually turned out to be. Um, when Alaba made the free kick uh, early on, uh, the game was kind of, kind, kind, kind of said. I mean, I didn't see the free kick live, but uh, when I saw the replay, it was actually really nicely taken. Then uh, Müller had a huge chance that it was saved, and Gnabry, complete, they completely caught uh, Bayer, uh, not Bayern, Le, Le, Le was on the, on the road of wrong foot, and Gnabry in the 24th made it 2 0. Uh, it could have been 3 whatever i mean total dom domination the thing then is that um leverkusen in the second half had a chance Folland came on had a huge chance where he just needs need just needs to connect and pull it into the net he hits over the ball if he makes that goal i think we might have have a game but then uh Lewandowski makes it three nil with the help of the goal goalkeeper i mean that went through his legs i mean uh, cannot get worse in the 59th sven bender puts one back and you think the game is getting a little bit somewhere uh but it's not really any the uh, stoppage time no ah, last minute Lewandowski makes it 4-1 stoppage time uh leverkusen gets a penalty that harvards in his potentially last game for Lever leverkusen converts and the yeah, eyes just makes it a little bit nice nice look by and win another double and many say are now the favorites to win the champions league we'll talk about that once the champions league will come around because i have my i think from if it was a regular chance champions league i think uh, bayern would have had a huge chance um given that they have now this layoff it might hurt them just a teeny bit. I think there was a lot, a lot more drama uh, going on in the uh, relegation battle between Bremen and Heidenheim. The first game, all that I could get, it was not all that great of a game. Uh, Bremen, who were flying as current, suddenly had heavy legs. They still they didn't uh, concede many chances, except there was a header at the very end of the game that really made it. Uh, really would probably have turned a game on its head, but going forward, Bremen was not all that great and was a really stalemate game. And then Moisander at the end gets sent off the captain. So uh, look kind, kind of have time, and everything pointed to the to the second game in uh, Heidenheim, where after two minutes, uh, Bremen finds a breakthrough, and I was actually happy, happy there will be no overtime. Where Teuerkauf with a brilliant on goal makes it 1-0 for Bremen. Bremen then had uh, quite a few chances thereafter. Rajica um, uh, forced a save from the Heidenheim goalkeeper. Uh, but it took Heidenheim a little bit to get into the game, but never really having the chance. I think for most of the time, I have to say, Bremen looked uh, like they will play at home quite safely. Uh, at least in the first half, I really didn't see much coming from Heidenheim. Second half starts, um, there were quite some changes and Heidenheim within the first five minutes has three glorious chances uh, where they either miss um, the goal uh, from good positions or they just, um, the Bremen defense can get, uh, get, get, it, get away. That was until the 50th. 55th to 60th, it's Bremen who has great chances to score uh, and probably should have scored. Uh, there was Rajasthan, uh, there was. Um, uh, what's his name? Um, Jeff Sargent and also uh, um, Osako, who had many, many good chances uh, to 
make the game safe for, for, for Bremen. But then again, it looked rather safe for the most of the time. And then suddenly there is a shot from out far uh, from Heidenheim who hit, hits the bar and it falls to a Kleindienst who can pull it in the net. I thought it was offside, but nope. And it was right at point, 85th minute where the commentator said, yeah, you look now rather comfortable because you only need, uh, you need to give up two goals in five plus me. Boom, the goal was scored. Uh, and Bremen, I have to say, looked for a very short time shaking, but then they, they very quickly could um, gather themselves together and uh, did all the tactics that, that you gotta do. Stoppage time started, you are down at the corner flag, everything like that. Um, and then you get the goal. Bartels gets through, um, you know, was not uh, through the defender, I don't think it was, was a foul, it's clear and goal, he's even looking. No, 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 I'm, I'm still playing. Puts it to Augustinsson, who scores the goal in the 9 and fourth to make it 2-1, and at that point it was really um, everything pointing towards Bremen. The Heidenheim then gets a penalty, or rather, I would say slightly content, tangent one, but since it was given, yeah. Uh, adds a little, little bit to the drama, but I, with the 2-1 for Bremen, I think it, 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 it was done. And yes, I did my due diligence, Bremen jersey is on the way. And yes, we have to go through Austria. Uh, this last week, it was already the last uh, we, week and the last loss to throw an unnecessary penalty at home to Wolfsburg. Uh, it felt like a blow into the guts. And what happened on Wednesday against Rapid, a team that again you dominate and again you manage to lose in heartbreaking fashion in many ways. And you can, you know, I don't like conspiracy theories. I don't like to uh, talk uh, that, you know, the referees are against us and so on. But against Rapid, you are always getting weird calls. Um, yes, there is enough on our own side that we have to look into and that you score an own goal. Yes, it was a little bit unlucky and you have to go there. And so on. adds to the drama then, uh, yeah, the defending at first was not all that great and it didn't help that um, uh, Filipovic was, um, uh, you know, out with a, a yellow red and then even out for the season because he uh, got an operation. So yeah, all not not great, but you have a great chance at the, at the beginning, then you give up the own goal in the fourth minute, um, you claw yourself back into, there were clear calls for a penalty, which in Hütteldorf, which is the district of Vienna where Rapid is playing, you're not gonna get. I thought, yes, black and white glasses, but I really thought the the, the, there was a clear chance to get this. They got repeated completely under control. Then there's a foul. Just before they had a foul at the midway, a clear foul, not no 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 not given. And uh, Fontas runs onto goal and makes it two 0 with a shot that I thought, how is that even going 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 in? I was really dejected and I said, okay, I'm gonna not gonna continue watching war, 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 watching there because I know where it's going. Also, that the repeat bench is constant consistently at the ref and then you know our coach really got loud and called called, called, called the repeat coach who is as a player I yeah he did good things for Austria but I never could stand him there that much he is one of those that gets under your skin uh, really all the time and as a coach he is exactly that Lusk actually gets the goal through Klaus and then a few minutes later uh, they score the equalizer and it is not given because of a foul. Klaus is jumping in the air, not using any of his arms. The rapid defender is just falling and the referee gives a foul. Uh, those are the decisions that and then in the uh, stoppage time rapid make makes it 3-1. It's just galling really galling and then um yeah cannot say much more more, more more than that i was clearly jack because i knew at that point we'll end up in fourth place uh and rapid 
sealed the second place where I say, yeah, we're the best ex the second best team in Austria. Low, low, look at the table, right, right, right after. It's the friggin' halving the points. I'm not even saying the points deduction. They deserve to get a uh, pump. I mean, I think four points was a little, little bit too, too much, but uh, they're halving the points. This is something... Uh, yes, it is that, uh, that calling. I mean, um, I have less problem with Wolfsburg, who... I, th I say it was lucky the game was postponed due to heavy f uh, rain or rainfall. They, I think, were twice down, then they turned around 3 2, but Hartberg gets a 3 3 re re result, which at that point last was still then third in the table. Uh, I thought that that, that ad was lucky. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and in the relegation battle, uh, St. Perton, who looked survived beating Admira and Matosburg beat Tirol so it was and it also said sad up a final account there so if we look at the table as I said at the end it was a duel for the final spot on my final match day uh, Tirol only manages a nil nil draw missing chances um, and Admira survives and yeah I the last match they went as I thought Salzburg is playing fully against Lusk. Uh, Lusk actually also in, in the game then two pen there was a penalty given given against them was stupid just when he had a huge chance before uh sure, sure they have to give the second goal and stop a time a third a third one uh, when you know everyone knew it's not going anywhere and Rapid doesn't do just doesn't show up in Wolfsburg, uh, which is the other thing you just wanna kill them for that. And so Lusk ends a wonderful season. This was, up until the Corona, the best season I've seen. I would even say this was the best season, although it was not the best uh, result. The best season that I've seen last play. I'm grateful for that. This was some of the best times ever. Just this whole uh, points deduction thing for the training sessions and some of the sour taste. At the end, I hope they will recover. I like what they're doing on the transfer market, I think. They'll be back in full strength and maybe ready to challenge Salzburg again, who win with an incredible 110 goal scores. But again, look at the table. I think it says everything if you look at the win-draw losses um, of who the second best team is, despite now a uh, rather messy last round. And Tirol will not have any team. Uh, got ready relegated. Innsbruck will not make it up. Uh, it's a little bit sad because I really think that you all should have a team up in the first league. But hey, I hope they will get it soon as well. Anyway, let me know what you thought about the final days in uh, Germany and Austria. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel to see more videos like these and talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.